Welcome to the Posture Masterclass. My name is Megan Dahlman, and I am so excited to lead you through, show you some of my absolute favorite movements that help correct your posture. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video are some moves that immediately feel good. You can do them right now, right away today as you go about the day, but I don't wanna leave it at just some good stretches that feel good. I actually wanna teach you more about your posture. So double check your email, because over the next couple of days, I'm gonna send you some bite-sized pieces of information about posture and ways that you can be thinking about your posture for the long term. Because I don't want you to just do a stretch, but then go about your day and not think about how you should be sitting in a chair, what your posture should look like while you walk. So definitely check your email over the next few days. I'm gonna give you as much valuable information as I can. But for now, let's get to feeling really good, okay? The first movement I wanna show you is what I like to call diagonal arm swings. It just looks like you're pulling your arms back and then bringing them back together along a diagonal line, okay? This can be done either standing up straight or sitting in a chair, whichever is most comfortable for you in the moment. But we wanna make sure that your pelvis is nice and level and that we're not tipping side to side as we go through this movement. Extend your arms out totally straight with your thumbs up. And then all we do is allow your thumbs to kind of point in whichever direction your arms are moving. So if your arms are moving back, your thumbs point behind you, and then they're going to swivel and point back towards each other as we bring your arms together. And you'll notice that I'm going along this diagonal line rather than just straight out to the side because it's going to be rotating your arms a little bit offset in the shoulder girdle, which is good, okay? So we're gonna pull your thumbs back as far as they go, one arm high, one arm low. If you feel any pinching up here in your shoulder, just bring your arm a little lower. When you get to this point where your arms are all the way back, I want you to think about pushing your chest through. So it almost feels like you're kind of arching at your upper back, kind of that space right between your shoulder blades, Push your chest through like someone's punching you right between your shoulder blades. And then we're going to swivel your thumbs back around, bring them back towards each other. And at that same moment, we're trying to round your upper back, like trying to spread across your shoulder blades. And then we go through that same movement in a very dynamic fashion. Dynamic just means that you stay moving. We don't just stay stuck in a stretch. We want to stay moving. Moving. So thumbs pull back, thumbs pull together. And we're going to do about four or five repetitions on one side, and then we'll switch directions. So now we have the other arm high, other arm low. And you'll do about four or five repetitions on each side, whatever feels good. A couple things to pay attention to while you're doing these. Make sure that your body is not tipping to the side. Could be helpful to do these in a mirror. And we just wanna make sure that your thumbs are always leading you through that motion and feeling that nice big stretch. You can inhale as you pull back, exhale as you pull back around. So this is a really great first movement to begin with, about four or five per side. Okay, the second move I'm gonna show you is actually really similar to those diagonal arm swings. The, kind of the base motion is that you're just trying to push your chest forward and then round, so keeping it dynamic. But we're gonna do this either in a seated position, as I'm showing you here, because I wanna show you that this is a great move that you can do if you're sitting at your desk or on the couch, but you can also do this one standing. Okay, so for this style, we're gonna call this one cactus arms. So I want you to bring your arms up so that they're right along the side of your head with your elbows just a little lower than shoulder height, thumbs spinning back. You'll notice that this is a little bit of a theme. I care a lot which direction your thumbs point. We wanna make sure that your thumbs point backwards. So all that we're gonna do is squeeze your forearms back so much so that it feels that it pushes your chest forward. Once again, it should almost feel like someone's punching you between your shoulder blades to push your chest forward the same time you squeeze your elbows back, okay? Make sure that as you're squeezing, 
You're not accidentally shrugging. We want to keep your neck relaxed. Squeeze using the base of your shoulder blades. And then we're going to go the opposite direction, bringing your forearms together. It's okay if they don't quite touch, but we want to bring them so far together that it feels that your upper back is rounding and you'll get that nice stretch. So this is another one that we're going to keep dynamic. We're going to squeeze back and then round together. You can add your deep inhales and exhales with this by inhaling as you pull back, exhaling as you round together. Now, if you feel particularly flexible and you feel like this isn't doing much for you, feel, you're not feeling it that much across your upper back, we can make this a little bit more intense by crossing your elbows in this moment. You can even latch your hands all the way around. So this is what I like to call eagle arms. It's a little bit tricky, but if you can cross one elbow over the other, when you're in this position, I recommend lifting your elbows, tucking your chin and exhaling. So you're going to release, open everything back, squeezing back, keeping it down, and then bring it back together, crossing if you can, lifting and exhaling. It's kind of in that lift and exhale that you feel a lot of that nice release. If you do the cross, make sure that you're crossing both directions too. Okay, so once again, squeezing back, bringing your arms together. I would do about five repetitions of that one. This next stretch might be my absolute favorite one. You can do this one on the back of a, on the back of a chair, like I'm about to show you. You can also do this at your countertop. You'll probably find yourself doing this everywhere, all around your house because it feels so good. It's what I like to call a passive stretch, meaning that you get to hang in it a little bit more than you're working in it, which would be like an active stretch. Those first two ones I showed you were a little bit more active. So for this one, super easy. You're just gonna plant your hands on the back of your chair and walk your hips back far enough where you feel like with your arms fully stretched out, you've got your hips directly over your feet. Your knees can be slightly bent here. And we don't want your arms, your hands touching each other. You want your hands positioned about shoulder width apart. Okay, all we're going to do here is push your chest down to the floor and you might find that bending your knees and extending your knees feels really good, but it should feel like gravity is helping pull your chest down to the floor and you're trying to help it by actively pushing it down. So I guess there's a little bit of action here, but really it just feels good and it should almost feel like it's undoing any rounding at your upper back and kind of unfolds you. All right, so this one, I would hang out in this stretch for about four or five full deep breaths. And with every exhale, you'll probably find yourself able to go a little bit deeper into it. This one you're gonna also feel through your armpits too, which feel really good. So this is definitely one of my favorite posture opening stretches right here. Okay, this next movement is a little bit more of an exercise because I want to help you kind of give you a tool to help strengthen those muscles right around your shoulder blades. This is one of my favorite ones. We're calling this a bent over thoracic rotation. Okay, you don't need to remember that name, but this one feels so good. So we're going to use that chair again, but this time the seat of the chair. If it does feel too difficult to get this far down, you can always put your hands on the back of the chair. This one can also be done down on the floor on your hands and knees if you're able to. All right, so just hinging at the waist to plant your hands on the chair. We want to make sure that your back is not rounded. That's step number one. Keep your back nice and flat, kind of tip your tail out behind you so that your spine is neutral. A neutral spine does have a slight arch in it, okay? Then I want you to take your right hand and put it right in the center of the chair and your left hand, once again, your thumb. Here's that thumb again. We're going to lead with your thumb to rotate your upper body. We're gonna to try to rotate your chest open without turning at the hips. See if you can do this, where you get as much range of motion as you can without feeling your hips swivel, okay? So all we're gonna do is pull that thumb back and then let's point that thumb back down to the other hand. Let's keep going on that side. You might find that that thumb starts to move in kind of a big elongated figure eight 
Another thing I want you to pay attention to when you are doing this movement is what's happening at this other shoulder. Because often your brain is thinking about this thumb up here and this arm here is rolling inward. So let's try to keep that shoulder kind of tucked back into the shoulder blade. And we're just gonna only move this one side. The first few times you do this, you're gonna feel a little stuck. Feels like, oh, I can't even move my arm very far. But then you'll find that it slowly starts to get a little bit bigger, a little bit more range of motion with it, and you're able to do both sides getting adequate rotation. So it should feel like your rib cage is rotating and that shoulder blade is moving. So this is an excellent one to do every day to strengthen those muscles, those postural muscles. I recommend doing about eight to 10 repetitions per side. Okay, my friend, I may have saved the absolute best for last. This is probably my all-time favorite stretch. It is a relaxing stretch. This will open you up so well. It feels amazing. We are gonna get down on the floor for this one, okay? So laying on your side on the floor in a position that's kind of called something silly. It's called hook lying. For whatever reason, this, this fetal style position is just called hook line. And I want you to have your knees tucked up so that they're right at hip level, maybe a little bit higher than hip level, especially if you have a bad low back, okay? From this position, let's take a peek at that top knee. Let's slide that top knee just a touch more forward than the bottom knee. This is gonna help anchor your knees. You can even squeeze a pillow between your knees if you need to and kind of squeeze down hard on it. That's gonna keep your knees locked in and your lumbar spine locked in, okay? So all we're doing here is planting one hand like a big clapping or alligator motion or position. Take this top arm, we're gonna slide it forward as far as we can to just activate some of those shoulder blade muscles. And then we're gonna open you up like a book. And all you're gonna do is open that arm out behind you and allow gravity to take over in this moment. And the first couple times you do this, you might realize that your knuckles, your fingers are really far away from the floor. And then pretty soon, the more you relax into this position, and learn how to exhale and release that tension, you'll find that those fingertips and your knuckles get a little bit closer to the floor. Now we can release out of this, just hold for about one or two deep breaths and we'll do it again. So once again, you're just gonna glide that top arm forward as far as you can, keeping your legs anchored, lay that arm out behind you and then exhale and feel it release. So the twisting here is only coming from your thoracic spine, kind of the area of your spine that is the rib cage area. And you're getting this nice big opening across your chest and shoulder muscles. So we're gonna go ahead and release. So hold for either one full exhale or up to like five or six deep exhales. And then you're gonna wanna do the other side as well. So this one, Definitely visit every day if you're able to. It will definitely start to open up your chest and make your posture feel so much better. In fact, all five of these movements, when done on a regular basis, will have a dramatic impact on your posture. So I hope you've learned some really great moves that you can immediately start implementing. My challenge to you is to try at least one of these right now so that you're starting to work on your posture. Don't forget, double check your email because I've got some other great tips for you in there. Thanks for joining me for this Posture Masterclass. We'll see you again soon.